Hey everybody, Julie the Whippy Chick here, and I'm so excited to start this tutorial of this market bag that I designed. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, the yarn that I used was sugar and cream. Um, I, I liked it because the, it had its own color change. I didn't have to keep changing colors because I am lazy. <laughs> I like variegated yarns. I, I like how they change the colors for me. I'm also using a size five hook. Um, this is a hook called Waves. Uh, what is, Knitter's Pride, that's the name of the company. Knitter's Pride Waves. I just discovered these hooks a couple months ago and I love them. They're really cool. Um, of course, as always, you're going to need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. Cute scissors work better than boring scissors in my opinion. That's not a scientific fact. That's just my opinion. <laughs> All right, very good. We are going to start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, I will leave a link in the, um, in the cards up at the top of the screen for you to do a tutorial because for everything in the world, there is a tutorial for that. <laughs> so we're gonna start with our magic ring. And we are going to chain up three. Now this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And we are going to put 11 more double crochets into this ring. So it's going to be one chain three, which counts as a double crochet, plus 11 more. So that's basically 12 double crochets into our magic ring. So let's get started. If you don't know how to do a double crochet, I can also leave a link for that tutorial. You will know how to do a double crochet at the end of this project, I can guarantee you, because there are a lot of them in this little market bag pattern. I am breaking up this tutorial into sections um, because it is kind of a longer one and um, it's just easier to upload videos that are a little bit shorter. So we'll make it like a mini kale so to speak. I've never actually done a cow, so that's kind of fun to think that this could be a cow. All right, I'm gonna cinch up my circle a little bit, my ring, because I like to work into a smaller ring. Is anybody counting? Because I've lost count. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here's number nine, number 10, number 11. Whoops, I split my yarn. Let's do that one again. Number 11 and number 12. Now you can start with whatever color you want I just thought that the, the green would be pretty for the flower center. Okay, I'm just gonna double check my count again because it is important to make sure that we have the right number of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, good. So I'm going to cinch that up and I'm gonna join with this slip stitch in the top of my chain, okay? If you've ever watched any of my other videos, you know that I hate joining at the top. My hook always gets very fiddly for whatever reason. But we're going to get through this today. <laughs> All right, very good. So that is what you're going to have when you finish round one. Okay, so we are ready to start round two. Um, we're going to start round two by chaining up three. 
And just like before, that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Now, if you are familiar with uh, granny clusters, that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to create a granny cluster into every stitch, okay? So a granny cluster is a cluster of three double crochets in every st stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna put a double crochet right into this stitch here that I'm currently working in, okay? So here's that, we're gonna go right into that stitch. Okay, so there's my chain three, one double crochet and two double crochet. So that is a granny cluster. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm gonna do the same thing into the next stitch. So one double crochet. Sorry about the traffic noise, it happens every time I do a tutorial. There's two double crochets. Oops, I keep splitting my yarn, I apologize. Maybe, there we go. If I turn my hook just right, it doesn't split it. Okay, so now I have two granny clusters. Okay. So I am going to chain one. In between each one of these clusters, I'm gonna chain one and go for the next stitch. So there's one. Two. And three. Chain one. Now we're going to work three more into this stitch. One. Two. Three. Okay, and we're just going to continue in that same way until we get to the last stitch. And then we'll join together with a slip stitch. And I will meet you there. Okay, so just continue with the next stitch, putting in all of those granny clusters. Okay, so I have made it all the way around my round two. I have got 12 granny clusters separated by one single crochet, I'm sorry, one chain, one chain space between each of my granny clusters. So that what that means is I have 36 double crochet stitches and 12 chain one spaces. Okay, so if you wanna count your stitches, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to make my last chain and join at the top of my first chain three, which counts as my double crochet. Okay, and now I'm going to chain up five. And this round is gonna be the V-stitch round. There's four and there's five. Now the first three of these chains is gonna count as my last half of my, uh, is the, the second half of my last V-stitch. And if you've never done a V-stitch, um, you can certainly check up the uh, tutorial. I'll put a, a link here in the cards. Um, but it's a very, very easy stitch, so not to be intimidated. Um, the other two uh, chains, though, are going to connect us over to this chain one space here. So we needed a little bit of extra space, and we're going to start our first V-stitch into this chain one space. Okay, so you're going to yarn over into the chain one space, pull up a loop, pull through two, up a loop, pull through two. So there's one double crochet in there. Now to complete the V-stitch, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna do another double crochet right into that same chain one space. So yarn over, search your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. So 
Let's take a look at that and then you can see the V very clearly. You can see how these two double crochets come together like a V and then they're connected at the top with a chain. Okay, and that's what makes a V stitch. So we're going to chain two and we're going to go into the next chain one space between the clusters there and do another V stitch. So double crochet. I'm going to need some more yarn there. Go. So we did a double crochet, chain one, double crochet right back into that chain one space to make our second V stitch. Okay, see that V? Chain two. Double crochet into the next chain one space. chain one, double crochet into the same chain one space for our next V, chain two, double crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, double crochet into the same chain space, for our next V and chain two. And we are gonna continue working this way all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end of the round where we're going to join, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes. Feel free to pause the video and take your time. There's no rush to this, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, so I'm almost to the end of this round. I have completed um, my last full V-stitch here and my two chains. Um, so now um, I'm going to do a double crochet into my last space here. And remember the first three chains of this count as one of those double crochets in that V-stitch. So here we go. Do our double crochet, whoops, double crochet. And now I'm going to chain one because this is a V stitch. And then I'm going to join with the top of this chain three to complete my V stitch, okay? There we go. So now let's take a look at our work. Tuck my tail under here. There we go, so we can see it better. And there's all of our V stitches getting ready for the next round. Okay, so this next round is a little bit more involved, but it's kind of a fun round. Um, it kind of keeps you on your toes, but not to worry, not to be intimidated. It's, um, it's really not difficult. We're gonna be working into the chain spaces. So there's no searching for stitches to, to work into. So that's kind of nice. And we're going to kind of work our petals. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and you follow along, okay? Our first stitch is gonna be worked into this um, big chain two space, okay? Actually, we're gonna work a lot of stitches into this space. So the first one is going to be a single crochet. The next one is going to be a half double crochet. So you're just gonna yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through all three. The next stitch is going to be a double, so yarn over, Insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. The next stitch is going to be the tippity top of our petal, our flower petal. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through the first two, pull through the second two, this is a little tricky, so you might need to hold on to it. There we go. And pull through the last two. Those trebles can be a little bit fiddly if you're not used to it, so take your time. Now we're gonna work our way back down. So we've come to the top of our flower petal, now we're gonna work our way back down. And you might need to slide your stitches over to give yourself space, that's okay. We're gonna do a double crochet. Now we're gonna yarn over, insert, 
pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. Now it's time for the half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three of those. And the last one is a single crochet. So no yarning over, just pulling up a loop and pulling through. And that's what gives our flower petal this round look here, okay? Now we're going to work into the top of, or into the chain one space of this V stitch. And all we're going to do there is put in a single crochet. And that's gonna anchor everything from our flower petal down. And it also takes us conveniently over to our next chain two space where we're gonna make another flower petal. So you've probably already guessed that that is our repeat pattern for this entire round. So let's do this again because it is a lot to remember until you've done it a couple times. Okay, so we're gonna do a single crochet into that chain two space. Now a half double. Pull through all three. A double. Pull through two. Pull through, whoops, goodness. <laughs> pull through two. Now a treble, so wrap it twice. This one, I find it helpful if I pinch the bottom of the stitch, it kind of holds things together. Just pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Back to our double. That looks funny, what happened here? Oh, I just need to slide my stitches down, I think. Okay, there's our double, pull through two, pull through two, now our half double. Oh, my puppy is crying. What's the matter, puppy? Some of you have seen my puppy. He's a funny guy. Okay, and the last one is a single crochet. Oh, and we've got motorcycles. Oh, life in the country. I apologize for all the sound effects, but life happens. Okay, now we're gonna work our single crochet right into this V-stitch. All right, and I'm gonna work this uh, with you one more time before I let you give it a try on your own. Of course, you can always pause, rewind, slow the video down, whatever you need to do is fine with me, okay? All right, so let's do our single crochet, our half double crochet, our double crochet, our trebled crochet, Our double crochet. I'm gonna slide my stitches over, give myself a little more space here. Half double crochet. And a single crochet. And now I'm gonna work a single crochet into that chain one space between my legs of my v-stitch here okay so that is the repeat pattern and we're going to work our way all the way around and i'm going to meet you at the very end and we'll join up our round together okay looks like you made it good job you made it all the way around um, at the end of this round we have 12 flower petals and um, I have not finished my last single crochet into the chain one space. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And that will complete this round for me. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next round. Let's see, that would be round one, two, three, four. So this is round five. Look at us go. 
I'm going to chain up six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now I am going to slip stitch into the treble crochet of this petal. So the very top stitch. So you can kind of count your way in, but it's pretty easy to make out that treble crochet. So we're just going to slip stitch into that. Okay. And then we are going to chain three more. One, two, three. And now we are going to work a treble crochet into the single crochet between the V stitches. Remember we did that single crochet in between each petal? So that's the stitch we're looking for. Okay, so if you look at your V stitch and look right in the middle, you're gonna find that stitch. Okay, and that's where we're gonna work our treble crochet. So wrap it twice. You've got a little experience with this treble crochet now. Pull up a loop. Pull through two, pull through the next two. Oh, I'm getting a little tangled. Okay. And pull through the next two. And there's our treble crochet. So that is our pattern repeat for this round. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to slip stitch into the treble stitch of our petal. So just look for that tippity top stitch there. Sometimes my stitches kind of curl in. I've got to kind of look for them carefully, but they're there. No need to fret. <laughs> Chain three. One, two, three. Treble crochet into that single crochet stitch on top of the V. Pull through, whoops. Boy, these treble crochet sti uh, stitches are always a little tricky for me with the cotton yarn. I, I tend to split the yarn and, oh my goodness, I'm just full of excuses, aren't I? There's one, two, and three. Okay, we go again. One, two, three chains. Slip stitch into the top of our treble. Chain three. One, two, three. And treble crochet into our single crochet of the previous round. There you go again, splitting that yarn. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to finish my chain three here, and I'm going to let you go ahead and finish the round. It's going to look like this all the way around, okay? So there's a lot of little chain spaces there but we need those, we're gonna build in. And it's okay if, you're, if you're, um, your base is kind of all poofy like this. That's gonna work itself out. So don't, don't stress if it's a little bit lumpy and bumpy. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the round and we'll join up together. Okay, so I've come to the end of this round and I have completed my chain three and I slip stitched into the top of my last petal and I've chained three. Now this first chain three that we started with, that's going to count as our um, treble crochet. So we're actually going to join in the top of that stitch. I'm sorry, in the top of that chain three. Um, so we're gonna find that chain, count up two, three, and we are going to join there, okay? And that completes that round. So we can take a nice long look at it. Look at our beautiful work. We are fabulous. Okay, 
This next round is going to be a fun one because we're going to change color. And the reason we're going to change color here is because it's really going to emphasize our flower after we change color. So I'm going to change to white. Um, but what we need to do first is clip this one. Oops. And we're just going to pull that through and tie that off. Okay. Now you are welcome to go ahead and weave in your ends now. I tend to like to weave in my ends um, while I'm still working on it because one, it makes it easier to see what I'm doing. That tail's not always in my way. And number two, that's less for me to do at the end of the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave in that end and get my white yarn ready and then we will start our next round. Okay, so when I'm changing color, um, the first thing I like to do is make a slip knot and insert my hook into that and kind of tighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to be able to join this round anywhere in these chain three spaces. Any of the chain three spaces is fine. Um, so just pick one and go with it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop and pull it right through like a slip stitch there. And that anchors my my yarn right down okay now I'm joined I'm going to go ahead and chain up three and this is going to be another granny cluster round we are going to do granny clusters all the way around so I've chained up three so this chain three is going to count as a double crochet I'm going to put two more double crochets into this space there's two scooch them in together a little bit and three okay so there is my first granny cluster done all right now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do another granny cluster right in the next chain three space so as you can see this round is really pretty simple just granny clusters with chains in between. There's one, two, whoops, get through there, and three. Chain one. Granny cluster in this space. Space. One, two, And three. Chain one. One. Oops, need a little more yarn, please. Okay, it's so tight when it first comes out. Oh, goodness. I hope that's not a knot. No, it's not. It's just a little bit of a, a kink. Okay. One. two and three chain one and you're going to continue working that way all the way around your your base okay so just a granny cluster in all of these chain three spaces and I will meet you back at the end here and we will join up the end of this round together Okay, we have made it to the end of that round. They are getting bigger. These rounds are getting bigger and bigger, which means they're gonna take longer and longer, but that's okay. That's the point. We want our, our bag to get bigger. We want it to grow. So I have gone all the way around and I just need to chain one and join at the top of my chain three stitch here. and we're going to start the next round um, but can you see what i mean how changing that color really brings out that that flower pattern i just think it's so pretty okay enough about that <laughs> we're going to chain up three and that is going to count once again as a double crochet and we are going to just double crochet in every stitch 
and including those chain one spaces. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a long slog, all right? So this, um, this chain three is coming out of this first stitch, so that's gonna count as our first stitch, okay? So we're gonna double crochet into the next stitch. And the next stitch. And when you, cr when you crochet your double into this chain one space, you don't need to look for the, the top of the stitch and only chain into that. You can just put your hook right into this space, okay? And we'll just do a couple, a couple more and then I'm gonna leave you to it because this would be a very long, boring round to watch me just do double crochets into every stitch. Hopefully you've got some Netflix or some Prime or something you could help you pass the time for the long rounds. Okay, and once again, I'm back to a chain one space, so I'm just gonna chain one right into, not chain one, double crochet right into that chain one space. Okay, so I'm gonna get to work and you're gonna get to work and I will meet you at the end of this round and we will join up together. Okay, that was a long, long round. Um, we are going to join at the top of this chain and you will be pleased, maybe not, to know that the next three rounds are going to be exactly the same. We are going to double crochets in every single one of our stitches. And if you wanna do a quick count and check your stitch count, we do have 96 stitches in this round. So we're gonna chain up three, that's going to count as a double crochet, and we are going to do a double crochet in every single stitch. Um, when we finish with those though, what we'll notice is that this is going to start curving up because we're not adding any more stitches, so it's not gonna lay flat anymore, it's gonna start curving up. So, with that, I'm going to leave you to it, and I will see you back at the end of your third round of lots and lots of double crochets. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, after three more additional rounds of all double crochet stitches, um, this looks beautiful. Do you see how it's curving up? It's starting to curve into our bag. So that is going to be the end of this portion. Um, this is the end of part one. We will start the next section um, by changing color. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is looking though. Um, to finish off this round though, we are going to snip our yarn just like that and pull it through and if you want to do a quick check to make sure that you have 96 stitches in each of your or well you don't really have to check all of your rounds but you might want to check your your last round and just make sure that you have your 96 stitches in and I will see you in the next section